Welcome everyone to our live session for the pre-market analysis on July 29th, 2024. It's great to be back after a month and uh, I'd love to hear from, from you how you have been all that time during our break. It's been one month since we last have a session together. So today I'm not doing a with you guys because um, it's already late yeah so I've been busy with other things so it was hard for me to plan or schedule a meeting with you guys but uh, I decided to look out uh, this video it's 1am 1, 1 then uh, I'll share with you the video so that at your free time you're going to you can watch it yeah and see what I what insights I have so today we'll dive exclusively into technical analysis. We're not going to do it as usual. We basically do a psychological talk, then um, fundamental analysis, then we do technical analysis. But we are not going to discuss fundamental part and psychological part. I'll do it in a different video. Yeah. Today I'll only focus on technical analysis and see what we have this week. We're going to be explaining key trends and uh, insight to set us up for success in the market. So let's get started and see what we have. Yeah, I'll share my screen that you can see maybe what we have on uh, UUSD. Then you're going to maybe discuss um uh we're going to look at gold then yeah from that we can call it a day uh we can call it a week yeah we meet here on friday when we'll be doing our post analysis yeah also the video will be uh will be will be on youtube i'll post it on youtube immediately i'm done recording yeah so let me share my screen. I believe my screen is visible. Oh, uh, yeah. Up there you can see uh, it's zero USD. I'm on daily time frame. Yeah, you're going to look at daily time frame. What we have on daily time frame? What we have on uh, for time frame? Would be one hour and fifteen minutes time frame you can see what we expect this week and basically I start by uh, looking the candle close that uh, will be closed on Friday so that we can so that we can uh, get a small insight of whether you're going to buy or sell but last week I can see there was a lot of of manipulation because I can see um, there was a lot of rejection to the upward so then there is no crossing be uh, bigger crossing bullish candlestick called bearish candlestick so we're not going to use the ABC setup to look if you're going to sell or buy so we're just going to do a normal technical analysis yeah and we follow the how the other four is going on is doing now so I'm on my daily time frame you can see how the chart is yeah and by looking at the chart uh, we are still bearish the daily trend is bearish so with me I've marked this as my strong as my strong swing yeah with this um, order broke here with the supply zone which has not yet been mitigated at all then uh, I'm going to focus on uh, the real Zen charts we have our swing, strong swing we have this uh, as our strong internal we have this as our weak internal so what we are going to put more emphasis on is this very range here uh, that's what that matters for us today let me draw the range Oh yes, 
yes this range here that's all you're going to do which to be trading uh this week yeah so that's why i've marked this as my strong internal this is my weak internal so that's the range that we're going to be trading at and if you notice something uh, for almost a month now yeah uh, we have been trading upwards and uh we had we have we had a lot of liquidity and upward here we had this liquidity here we have this one here we had this one here so market swiped the first liquidity and triggered this supply zone here yeah you can see it here then reacted uh on that zone yeah and uh okay basically what we want to see where we are doing our taking corner is when we rock out at higher time frame middle of time frame and low time frame what we want to see if we are uh we want to see number one is break of structure we want to see liquidity you have to see market shift or chalk i also want to see varied supply and demand zone zones for us to be able to take the, the, the next step so those are the uh the four things the four key things that we look at we also have imbalance those are five imbalance and uh i by now i hope everyone knows how market uh market moves yeah and i'm all going to uh the the, the market call could we call it order flow how how does have been distributed in the market and i by now expect everyone knows how uh orders have been distributed i'm not going to talk about that i'm not going to discuss that so those are the four or five things that are uh that are key here when you are when you are doing our technical analysis number one you have to see a, a very break of structure beta break of structure uh or internal break of structure there's difference between the two you can check you want to see liquidity you want to see change of character or market shift you want to see very supply and demand so and uh we want to see imbalance so we want to see market reacting or filling gaps that have been left behind we want to see market clearing all the liquidities before moving to the next phase so that's what you are going to put for to put more uh to put more focus on when you move to different time frames so yeah we had this liquidity here uh we had this on here you can see this liquidity pile this one here this range here let me draw the range you see this range here uh, a lot of counter rejections um yeah we have this week here weak rejections yeah that's liquidity pile liquidity was firing on that zone yeah i had another we have another another liquidity here i have another one here all these are liquidity that uh that means that the market um, has a lot of uh liquidity to fill we also have a lot of Im imbalances okay you can see on here this this gap here i expect by now you guys know how to mark the imbalance how to mark supply and demand zones i'm not going to dive that uh into into that so on daily time frame we had market reacting on this zone here the one that i've marked this one here then it dropped so the market is still bullish because we haven't seen any change of character yet because our change of character on the time frame is right here want to see market if uh want to sell from this point want to see market doing what breaking this this small here there because uh we had this internal break of structure to the upward 
then uh, this was uh, our law here uh, and that being our law this was our our demand zone whereby we wanted to see market whereby market came on reacted to this zone here before we start pouring the upside so basically what I want to see you can see the, the swing is bearish yeah and uh, the internal are also bearish because you can see it's trending to the downside yeah and uh, price might shift bullish if at all uh, this this price will continue to buy to the outside we are reaching there the retro highs that we have here you see this high here the other reason that might uh, trigger price turn in bullish is because price came and reacted to to this zone here then pulled up remember what we want to see uh, in every phase I want to see uh, maybe all market is moving to the downside let me just draw for you here guys Okay, basically what we are, we are seeing here maybe when market is uh, on a downtrend what it does it triggers all the supply zones that have been left behind then continues to the to the downside light the same case when you are when when you are in a bullish trend you want to see market coming back to uh, the zones that have left have been left behind the demand zones that have been left behind this is what I'm talking about here we had we are we were in a in a in a demand zone that was left behind after price broke this internal uh, internal zone here so market came back directly to this zone and what we want to see we want to see market pulling back and uh, uh oh where, where, where do you want to see market pouring back to? Let me first delete this. To the recent what? To the to the recent supply, which is which is this one here, right? Also, if this zone fails, we want to see market reacting. And um, this there is on this means on here so you're going to uh, to be keen and to monitor how market is going to react to uh, these two zones here before we we continue to the downside also the moment you continue to the downside the moment market breaks this loss here you want to see how market is going to to react to this zone here this uh, demand here you might see price also pouring back to to the upside yeah so basically what we have on the time frame it's not that much so on the time frame it's not nothing much because mm, we still don't have we still yet don't have the a clear confirmation for sales because I'm expecting us to have a a pullback so that you can clear all these liquidities that are left behind so that you can take out all these demands yeah and etc etc et yeah, before we move to maybe the, the next phase yeah remember this there the the range that you are you are trading this strong internal and this uh weak internal and again we had we had a zone here this very zone you can see it guys yeah this one here uh, as you can see we are in a down downtrend right we are bearish like price moved to from this was the highest point by then move to this point moved up uh, broke this structure uh, failed to break the high came broke this structure here came pulled up 
not uh, it has not price has not yet uh, broken this structure here so you want to see this structure being broken and then the moment this structure is being broken what we want to see we want to see market reacting on this zone here so that before it pulls up so before it pulls up yeah then uh, we do what we continue that's what we want to, we want to see so this zone be, will be of much significant when price taps to taps this zone yeah you, you can see uh, i've already written it, written it down uh zone that might be might facilitate a pullback after internal break of structure right so this zone here it might inter uh, initiate an internal bullish shift to this very zone here uh there's another zone to monitor we are going to to wait for more price confirmations that you can know or do next so nothing much on the frame let's go to four time frame and see what we have so this other things i've drawn here okay let me hide them yes oh all over that it's like that let's go to daily time frame no four time frame so we are on four time frame also here nothing much yeah so what we have here on four time frame you can see the scene structure is bearish and uh, now it aligns with uh, the daily time frame remember for us to trade all time frame must align the daily time frame must align with the four time frame and also align with uh, 15 minutes time frame before you execute a trade you want to see uh, all time frame being bullish or bearish uh, in both um, in both the uh, internal and uh, what internal structure and also the the scene structure yeah they all must align before you take a trade yeah so you can see uh four time frame on a four, a four time frame the thing is bearish and it aligns with the daily time frame and uh something else that you can we can note on daily on four time frame is that when market reacted to this zone here this four time frame zone uh, what happened it dropped and we had this row here you can see the law here uh this this row acted as our market shift or chalk so initiating that we are turning uh we have shifted bearish so the internal structure is bearish but the insta internal structure on daily time frame it's no it's not bearish there's still no confirmation of a bearish trend so that means on four time frame might have a pullback a continuation a continuation bias yeah so the only thing you have we have a, a a market shift or some people call it a break of structure an internal block of structure yeah and uh following a, a bearish order flow on the string structure uh we are going to remain much less flexible anything can happen market can decide to continue buying or market can decide to continue selling so we are going to wait for more confirmations but what i'm going to monitor on four time frame are uh, all these very two zones here uh we have uh this zone here oh my god i'm four time frame yeah let me go to four time frame sorry 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 guys sorry guys yeah this is the four time frame chart what I'm going to, to to focus much on uh are these two zones here. So we had this this range here, this low here, which acted as a as a market shift and it was broken, then price moved to the downside and triggered this demand zone here 
though it only triggered at zero zero percent level uh so it only whipped in then out but uh yeah this is a varied demand zone uh a varied, yeah, varied demand zone because there was this internal break of structure which left us with this demand zone here and market is now pouring to to the upside so remember after every break of structure we have we are we expect market to to come back to those zones and these are these are surprise zone that we marked here we also have this surprise zone here you see the the, the green candlestick here yeah that's a that's a, a, a my varied my varied uh, supply so i want to see market coming back to trade into this zone here then to the downside so i'll, uh, I'll wait uh, for market to come to this zone i see the reaction then i'll take decisions from that point all else market might might come trigger this zone yeah then come back to this zone here then this way you're going to to get maybe a, a reaction to do what to to sell to the to the downside why because we have a liquidity here you can see this week you can see this week here this is a liquidity so it's a liquidity trap uh some people might be might might, might be I think let's sell on this zone then they get taken out so we are going to pay more attention on this zone here because on top here we have liquidity and one one rule of um uh one rule of trading always respect liquidities or always respect the imbalances that have been left behind so and we uh this is a zone that you have here and on top of it we have liquidity so we we are not supposed to be much more much confident selling on that zone it might it might lead us to to a unstoppable fire so we are going to wait and see what what's going to happen here until you get more confirmation that will uh that will make us sell from that very zone here there's nothing I can do about it. So all from this very zone here. So what do, what do we have? We can also see we have a lot of liquidity on the downside. You have this liquidity here, which also is going to be which also is going to be our our internal break of structure. Then uh, we have this liquidity here. We have this one here. We have liquidity pile here. You can see. There was a lot of weak rejection on this zone here. Yeah, like we have unmitigated, we have this liquidity here, unmitigated uh, demand here, the daily time, time frame demand, we have this liquidity here, this trend line liquidity here. Like, there are more clear confirmations that I'll, uh, that might lead to 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 more cells so i'm going to wait and see how things are going to things are going to be so on the on on for time frame i'll be, I'll be focusing on those uh those two zones i'll, I'll wait and see how market is going to react on those two zones there let's see what we have on 15 minutes time frame M15 You have anything? The past two weeks that has been very tough for me Yeah, but we are trying yeah, yeah. Uh, the same structure is bullish because you can see you have other structures on top here. Uh, let me mark this ones here. You have this, this one here. That's a strong internal. Also, all uh, strong. See, I call it strong internal. 
Yeah, I have uh, this as a weak internal. Yes, I have that as a weak internal. But all you can notice, although you can see here, yeah, despite the seeing M15 seeing being bearish, uh, the internal is bullish to pay the swing pullback so that you can get a, 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 a swing pullback on the time frame and four time frame so you can see market on uh, internal structure is bullish like market is uptrending so what do we have This was squared liquidity, and there's a zone here. Uh, these are liquidities to our top. This supply zone here, Jones, just mitigated. Yeah, this was Asian liquidity, but it's already cleared, so uh, it's this of now, uh, of now is for now. And this liquidity here, of uh, this liquidity here. Have much liquidity. We have this from here. So for me, I'm going to wait for for much for much price development since we're in M15. I want to see uh uh Asian Asian cause um, how uh what all market you present to us. Yeah. So I only act. On, um, during London session, London open. That's when I'm going to decide whether I'm going to buy or sell to clear the. I'll be trading the Asian liquidity range only. Uh, so that before we get much price development on that. Yeah, so. <clears throat> because, uh, this liquidity, this liquidity, you can see how about break up this group of section here, but I'm going to make the whole week. Uh, this it's already mitigated, so uh -huh. this one mitigated also. But at a zero percent levels, yes. Then uh, what does the how this is liquidity on top here? So yeah, let me wait. But oh, this also can be used as a this zone here can be used as a very uh, it's a very zone by the way because. Market only weeks from that zone, but I never prioritized it. So those are the zones that I'm going to to look at tomorrow. Yeah, during London Open. Yeah, that's it for Euro USD. Maybe you can now uh, look at uh, gold. What we have on gold? Yes. The Habu, what do we have?
gold, gold. What do you have on gold? Oh, my screen is lost. Let me check. Yes, let me check. Let me check. So gold XAU USD the Habu H. So come ten dollars gone till time frame check what we have. Things are tough. Things are really, really tough. Yes, very time frame. Let me see what we have. Day time frame. Yes. I'm on day time frame. Yeah, and uh, as you can see, uh, this our range. I'm only going to focus on this range because we don't have a structure on the on the upward. Yeah, gold has been bullish for the past almost three months now. So this is the only range that you're going to focus on. Yeah. That's the only range that can help us. So market pushed to the upward, dropped, pushed higher. So you had this internal break of structure pull down this very demand here yeah then it was virtually completely so it then came and triggered this main demand here yeah and uh, I traded on <coughs> almost on 50% travel almost along 70% level yeah that's good. Then it pulled up. Yeah, I had this break of structure. No, it's not a weak, weak thing. It's uh, a break of structure of BOS. Yes. Then pulled it down. Yeah, that's what we have on daily time frame. So basically, when you can see here, you had this uh, liquidity. You have this liquidity here. If you expected it to be violated to be uh, shipped by that time. So market dropped this very zone here, pulled up, dropped, yeah, which reacted to, to uh, this green candlestick here, almost also on, also on almost 50, 70% level there, pulled up, had a uh, this block of structure here, which act, uh, acted as a, a market shift uh, to bullish, then break of structure upward, then market is now pulling down, and we have this low here. Uh, so market shift, we want to see before we sell, or before we continue selling, we want to see market breaking this zone here. Yeah. Breaking this zone here, uh, come mitigate a buried supply here, then you continue selling. Yeah, to that, uh, zones that are targeting 
the zones that are, have not been mitigated out here down here so yeah you can see the swing structure the internal structure are eventually they are bullish yeah and there's no meaningful bearing shift facet to facilitate the uh, the swing pull back so you know we're not I'm not expecting a pullback uh, anytime soon. I don't know how market is going to react. I'll only uh, start seeing the signs of a pullback once market pulls down to this zone here. Yeah, where it's this row here. So that's it. That's the only thing you have on the frame. There's not that, nothing much on gold. Yeah, you're not going to complicate things. You're not going to say once market break this low here, uh, you're going to now look for at least uh, to see if the daily time frame is going to run in the four time frame, four time frame, and the 15 minutes in frame before we do what we short to the downside. Otherwise, market can still continue to be bullish. So you're also going to look for uh, setups to, to exploit uh, the bullish trend or the bearish trend or whatever. So anyway, let's go to four time frame. Because there's nothing, there's nothing much there. Yes. On four time frame, this is what we have here. Also here the swing structure is bullish and the price is currently on a pullback phase. Yeah, so it's almost the same as the previous D whereby the daily time frame was bearish, the four time frame swing structure is bearish, uh, but the daily time frame internal structure is not yet confirmed whether it's bullish or bearish, so it's shifted to bearish or bullish. The same case with the four time frame, uh, it was already shifted, shown there, signs of market shift, and we're expecting more sales. So it's the same thing. So on four time frame, uh, the internal structure is bearish to facilitate the, the pullback. So I'm going to watch the, to watch these zones here. Let me first show, uh, mark the market shift. Uh, this market shift here, market shift, this one, chalk here, which also is also uh, our viewers. Then, so you're going to mark this, this one, this recent supply here. Yeah, then, yeah, market pulled up, uh, up, down, break of structure here. You have this internal break of structure then uh, which left us with uh, with this one here by, by market lock and now they have one this one here so, but now we cannot uh, sell on this zone confidently because we have this weak rejection here which now also as our uh, liquidity here yes that's liquidity so market might come back to uh, these extremes on here so I'm going to monitor these two zones two, two zones to see how market is going to, to react as well we have imbalances a lot of imbalance here yes these are here that have marked this zone here. I, I know. You, I hope you guys know how to mark imbalance. Uh, I have another one here. Uh, you have another. No, this one is already filled. So you have to do the, these two imbalances. This one and this one here. So I'm going to see, to wait and see how market's going to react on these two zones here. So from this point, I'm expecting market to to pull to to the upside. Yeah, then maybe continue selling. You have a lot of liquidity here. Have this liquidity here. Have this unmitigated demands on here. 
also have this one here a lot of unmitigated demands so and a lot of insert marketing solutions to the downside yeah so that's what you have on for time frame now in march so let me see what we have on 15 minutes time frame do you have anything mm -hmm. Let me add this once to for time frame before I continue. H4, nice one. Let's hide like that. So, Before I, before I go to 15 minutes time frame, let's look at one on our time frame. When it comes to gold, I like when I'm trading on higher time frames, I should be when I'm executing my trades on higher time frames. But uh, you're going to you're still going you're still going to come back to, to 15 minutes time frame. Let's see, let's see what we have on on to our time frame if we have anything. Any development. Mm -hmm. This was the highest point. Market dropped up, dropped up. Let me see one out. I frame what we have on one time frame. There's something I'm looking at. Yes. Let's put more, more focus on here on this point here. Market pulled up the upside, the drop, or this loss here, change of character, uh supply uh supply zone there, uh pull down, uh -huh, down, down, change of character, up, up, down, break of structure here. Yes. <coughs> sorry sorry guys let me pray with this one here you can see how we had break of structure here let this this one be my highest point you want to see if you, you can have what a trade this week at least so this will be our zone here You're going to pay. You're going to pay keen attention on on uh, these zones here. Ah, uh, this range here. That's what you're going to be trading. Since we have this break of structure, yes, we have uh, this zone here. Though it's been violated already. Yeah, you have this high here, which is liquidity. Have this um zone here. So what I want to see, so I have this um imbalance here, market imbalance here. I have another one here. So this one is a little bit mitigated. Uh -huh. Let me mark this in parentheses on the color. No, let them be like that. I don't want to struggle changing them tomorrow. Anyway, so uh, we have marketing, we have here break of structure. You can see break of structure, you can see liquidity, you have change of character, you have a varied supply, uh, a varied supply here. This, uh, this is our supply zone here. Yeah. We have um, about imbalances, 
So what I'm going to what or what I'm expecting from gold. Uh, I'm anticipating that price is going to push to the upside here, mitigate this on here because this was our, our break of structure which left us with this supply here. So for others to uh, for in the rule of order flow, you want to see market coming, going back to this zone here, then drop so that you can then after we have a good reaction here, a sell uh, a sell reaction here, we are going to target this zone here to take out this uh this row here. Yeah, so this will be our target. So this week this is what I'll be monitoring. I want to see price doing what are uh, coming back to 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 this zone. Yeah, but you have to to stay open. Anything can happen. So tomorrow what I'm going to do during under open. Uh, I'm going to to see what will be formed or not uh, on the Asian range. So that's what I'll be training tomorrow. Yeah, whether I'll be buying or selling. Because uh, uh, as well, we have we have liquidity here. This liquidity, uh, Asian liquidity. It was uh, Asian. No, it was not. It wasn't filled and supposed to be filled. Yeah, this one, this one is already filled. So, yeah, let me wait for tomorrow. See what I'm if I can get a setup to to buy. So, guys, yeah, that's it for today. That's what I'm expecting to. Uh, I'm expecting this week. Um, when I get time, um, when I'll be free, I'll uh, discuss fundamental analysis a little bit. You can see we have we have formic this week, right? Where is it? Where is the in the calendar? I have formic this week, so it's much volatility. Expect much volatility. Yeah, on uh, on Wednesday you have formic rested in conference. I'll discuss this uh, before Wednesday. I'll post the video on YouTube. We also have NFP. We also have ISM. We also have on manufacturing PMI initial job claims. So <clears throat> this week is a very busy week. So I'll discuss this either tomorrow in the evening or on Tuesday. But before NSD, I'm going to give you what I'm uh, I'm, I'm expecting from Formic, what I'm expecting from ISM, uh, initial job claims, and NFP before NSD. Then about psychological talk, we are going to do it. Uh, I'm going to do it on a different session. Once I'm free, there's something that I'm uh, I'm doing currently. Yeah, that's binding me. I'm not doing what posting session with you guys, but once I get free time, you're going to do that together. Yeah, the psychological part. On psychological part, I like when you're discussing things together. Yeah, so that's it for today, guys. Uh, have a um, nice evening. Let's meet to another day. Yeah, and there's something I'm organizing for you guys.